Hi Minnows, back to IGTV, my new favourite thing, I'm loving doing this. So symptom I'm going to talk about today is going to be breast pain. So breast pain for me, um, they swelled up, they were very tender, um, they kept me awake at night, even though sleep was another one of the symptoms but we'll talk about that another day. Um, they seem to start swelling and getting bigger. At the time, I did have um, uh, implants. I had fake breasts, so they were already quite big. So um, they just sort of started getting those matron boobs. Um, and then I started um, reading about, um, you know, you know, another other symptoms of things that could happen. And and it was like they said, you know, you know, your breasts can get a lot larger. And I just thought, oh God, I can't be getting breasts any larger. And they were so tender. I mean, the first time when I went to the doctor, I said, look, I'm nauseous. Number two, Ziggy again. Sorry, guys. But we know we're doing this at home and it's all about being at home and it's natural and it's my environment and it's in the pink house and um, so we're always going to have things like this. Um, anyway, so I basically, when I first was going in for the menopause, I remember on the first um, and second time I went in to see um, Sarah Matthews, she just said, well, we're going to do a pregnancy test and I was like, are you mad? You know, I said, you know, he said, well, no, we just need to do one just to be, you know, make sure. I'm like, I'm on the marina coil, number one. So basically, you know, I, I'm not at a period, I'm not spotting, but they, they're they like, you know, want to make sure, one, one, you know, we need to know, you know, just one of the things we're going to do. They always like to do just 100% sure, your always might be that 1% just happens. I was just thinking, oh, please, not me. No, not 49. Gosh, just got an AS, you know off uh, GCSEs, can't be doing that anymore. Anyway, so, um, they got sore, you know, they just would not, they, they never really sort of felt right. So, I then was like, hmm, I'm going to take them out. And I was just thinking, so, um, rang up my plastic surgeon who put them in, and was like, oh yeah, I want to take them out. Uh, how long? He said, oh, probably taking about like 10 minutes. And I was like, really? And there you go, guys. Here are my implants. So, this is what I used to look like with them there. I mean, look at them. And now, I tell you what, after taking these out, I felt, number one, I didn't feel as angry. Number two, uh, I didn't have as much water retention. Number three, I basically think this is so bad to have a load of silicon against your mammogram next to your lymph nodes. I mean, look, who wants to be carrying these? They weigh a ton. Actually, they weigh a pound each. So that's two pounds, you know. And I thought I looked really sexy. Of course, back in the day, the Pamela Anderson, of course, I always wanted to be Pamela Anderson. Back in there in the 90s, it was all about fake boobs hair extensions, I now have natural hair, I have don't have fake lashes, and I don't have fake boobs. So, um, you know, these, this pain and aching sore boobs is another thing that just goes with the oestrogen, yet again, it's another receptor that's not sending something round, the message round, and you, you know, you end up with, with sore boobs. It's like, I mean, all these symptoms that I'm going to be going through, I mean, there is 34 of them, but when you say, you know, you know, you know, a foggy brain, um, you know, you get like, you know, dry mouth syndrome, dry eye syndrome, um, brittle, you know, thinning hair. I mean, what, you know, what do we do? We go through women, we have our periods. Then all of a sudden we have our periods and then we, you know, we want to eat a pound of chocolate and then we, we want to, we can't get out of bed and we miss doing games and we miss doing sports. Then we, when, then we meet somebody, then we get pregnant, then we have bad pregnancy, then we have postnatal depression, then we have, um, you know, one thing from the other. I mean, when does it stop? From the age of 12 or 13? I think hormones start coming in at nine, actually, I got told. To right old age of now, I'm 53. You know, us women, we go through it all. Anyway, so I'm going to do a finishing touch because I haven't got much to say, really, about um, sore, tender breasts, except just wanted to show you mine. Anyway, Menos, lots of love, and I'll speak to you next time.